Hi, this is Frank from Power Concepts, and I want to show you one of my favorite features in OneNote. The application is if you're using OneNote for managing team meetings, this is one of the very best uses of OneNote. Instead of having a ritual where you send out and ask for agenda items and then collect them and then send out an agenda and then take the minutes and send out the minutes and then track the action items, we eliminate all of that by making a one notebook that we share with the whole team. Then we can make a template. So this is a simple template. And if I wanted to create a new meeting for the future, when I hit add page, you're going to notice it automatically comes up with this template. And I just made this template. It's fairly simple, but you can add whatever features and fields and logos and anything that you'd like on it. I can just click in here. I'm just going to add a date. And so this is our basic agenda with main topics that we want to add in here. And so what we do is just say, everybody, can you please fill in your part of the agenda? And that's the only email that ever goes out for this agenda. So let me add a few items. These would be randomly added over the next few days as people have a few minutes and they just pop into the agenda and just add those items. So over the course of a few days all these items get added. Then we actually are going to start the meeting and these days especially there's often people connecting remotely. Maybe they aren't there at the very beginning and their name isn't added but we want to make sure that everybody's name is added so everybody sees the agenda because they're they're working in it. Also, this encourages just participation. If people are connecting remotely, now they're actually seeing the discussion. They're seeing the notes. They're seeing the action items, the minutes that are being written. And there's agreement on this. And so it moves things forward in a powerful way. Let me just add a couple people in here. And so I noticed that Don and Linda are connecting remotely. And so they see their names written. They see the discussion. And this is great. As we're going through, we add minutes to the meeting. And then the most important part that I want to share about here is action items. So let's just say that over the course of this meeting, we agree on three action items. We agree the due date and we agree on who the owner of the task is going to be. Now, what typically happens is an email follows a day or so after the meeting with the minutes and the action items. This is another email that people have to open, maybe with an attachment they have to open. They have to read through it all and note their action items. And this is so easy for somebody to miss. And again, if I'm the driver of this meeting, I have no idea if anybody's doing anything until the next meeting where we have to spend the first 10 minutes saying, how did it go? Instead, I want to do this. I'm going to take these tasks and I'm going to make these Outlook tasks. And it's very simple. Just by simply being in them, I can click on Outlook task. I can go down to custom and it makes it a task. I'm going to pump in the due date here. This one is due on the 20th. And I hit save and close. And this is now a task here. It's flagged. And it's also a task in my Outlook. So when I go here and I look on the, the 20th, and I like my daily task list to be turned on, and I can see every task is going to show up here on my calendar. Let me go back to OneNote. Because I like this Outlook tasks and custom a lot, I've added this with a right click to my quick access toolbar. So it's actually right here. So what I'm going to be doing is with every task that comes at any meeting that I have, I can just click on here and I'm going to make this a task. This one here is due on the 24th. Hit save and close. And this one here is due on the 26th. I can just click here. And you can notice that each task has a link back to the OneNote file where secure new parts might not be very clear to me. I can click back here. It takes me back to the meeting and I can see all the context of everything that we talked about. And I hit save and close. And so what's great about this is by the time I walk out of the meeting, there's no I will send you the agenda in a day or so. I actually have the agenda. I have the minutes. I have the action items. I have everything I need and the action items are managed already in my Outlook. Because if I'm part of three, four, five different teams that meet, then I'm going to have three, four, five different lists that I have to manage. And this is way too clunky. So instead, I'm going to click over here to Outlook, and I'm going to see every task that I need to do across every project, every team that I'm part of, showing up on the list. And so this is just great, because this is where I work. 
Now as things get done, I just simply click on the flag and they're marked complete. They move away, they're going to go to today's date, review new contracts. I'm wondering which contract are they talking about? Ah, oh, it's this one here. I can click on here. This is going to take me right back to OneNote where I'm going to see the context of everything that's going on. You're going to see the first task already marked as complete. I'm going to go back here to the Outlook and I'm going to just mark this task as complete. It moves to today's date and it's done. Secure new parts. As that's done, I can just click on this. And when I go back to OneNote, what I'm going to see, and again, this is lovely because if I'm the driver of this meeting, I'm wondering, is anybody doing anything? Are we going to be ready? And so as the next meeting comes, these tasks are one by one being checked. And you're going to notice it takes about a minute or so, maybe even less, for these things to actually update onto my screen. This is amazing, beautiful interaction between OneNote and Outlook and how this can be used in meetings.